Hi everyone, welcome to the SSA Community Slack workspace. My name is Emi Tanaka and I'm going to give you a tour around the SSA Community Slack workspace. So the way that this Slack workspace has been organized is that we've got multiple channels, each with a specific purpose. Um, for example, if I go to career and jobs, what you see is that there may be postings that are related to jobs or career development opportunities. For each of the channels, um, there may be a bookmark on the top, um, and these can be linked to some useful resources um, for that particular channel. If I click on, say, the welcome channel, this is where you can introduce yourself um, as well as welcome other people who come on board to the SSA community Slack. You can see here that um, if you start a conversation, um, people can react with an emoji um, as well as reply to that particular conversation and start a thread within that. Now, what might be important for you to know is that um, you don't want to be necessarily bombarded with notifications or emails. So if you go to the SSA community like title, um, just this down arrow, if you click on that and click on preferences, uh, what happens is that you can change the notification settings. Um, so that you either, you know, don't get any, so you only look at the notifications when you log on to the SSA Community Slack workspace. You can limit it um, so that your notification is in a particular time period, um, and you can disable any kind of email notifications um, if you wish. If you want to also, like, subscribe only to, like, a particular channel, what happens is that you can change your notification setting for each of the channels. So in order to do that, like you can go to the title of the channel and there's this down arrow next to it. So if you click on that, then it pops up this um, settings that you can change um, and you can change the notifications to something suitable to, um, to yourself. Now, these channels are something that we created um, but if you want to create a new channel, um, you can do that. Although we would encourage you to look at existing channels first um, and contribute to that before creating your own. If you do create your own, um, try to follow a uh, convention. For example, um, if you want to create a channel that are discussing a particular topic, then it will be good to start with a prefix of topic dash and then whatever the name of the topic is. Um, if you want to create a channel specific to a particular geographical region, um, it'll be good to have like a name of the channel um, corresponding to that geographical region name. So then when other people are looking to see if they want to join a particular channel, it's easier to tell like what the motivation behind that channel is. Now, the aim of this SSA Community Slack workspace is really to try to connect the, um, the community, the Australian community that is interested in statistics or data science. And the way that this is going to be used um, and how it's going to evolve really will largely depend on um, people like yourself. So if something is working or not working, please feel free to let us know at the SSA Victorian branch. Thank you and maybe see you on the SSA Community Slack workspace.